I remember going up one day, there had been riots in the city, uh, working on PM, and I went up to, well, I was, I was on vacation. We were on vacation for the beginning of the riots, so I wasn't there for that. But I went up a little later, and I met a group of kids who said, they have to take my picture, Mr. They, they said, uh, you want to see more of what's going on? Sure. They follow us. So I followed them. Went down to a place where it was a one-story garage, and suddenly I was drenched. One of the kids was up there dumping mortar on me. So I, we became friendly. <laughs> Every week I spent at least one day doing street photography, walking around the city. My husband did the babysitting, and I went off. And I was so happy when I did that. I felt so alive. And that's the work that's uh, valuable now. This series of um, the children at play, and they were playing war mm -hmm. and lynching, and that sold. It, it was uh, East Harlem. East that was East Harlem, yeah. And I happened on the kids playing on the street. And so this was kind of lynching. I mean, you see the kids playing in the street. Oh. It, they didn't make any difference who got lynched, which was very funny, oh. because they all played it. Uh, a so white. It wasn't always an African-American. Yeah, yeah. I have American. another photograph not of a lynching, but of, of one of the children being torn like that. And yeah. there was a game. Oh, yeah, it was very scary to me even when I, I took it. And in, in that article, they said that I stopped the game. But I don't think I did. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it blanked out to me whether I, I stopped it or I didn't. Mostly, I just wandered around the streets. Mm -hmm. Did you feel comfortable? Did you? Completely. So, the only the only people who bothered me were the policemen. They told me not to do this, to to go home. Not to take photographs or not, not to be there. Or not to be there. Not to be there. It wasn't safe. But I I never had a minute's trouble. Never. That the city is like a theater all the time. There's always something going on. In, in different, if you just keep look, if you look, you know, if you're looking. There wasn't many people on the street, and I was a woman. I mean, I was maybe the only, you know, you wouldn't see anybody. So, and that was a great advantage to me, because they never think w women could carry, you know, weapons or a women. Also, they, one of the things people started to worry when they would see me photographing was I on the police? You know, was I a secret service? You know, or was I a reporter? You know, people are very much themselves in the city. I don't know. They forget about how they're supposed to look. They do different things. They do crazy things. They 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 stop to eat, and their their positions are so funny. You know, <laughs> their ass sticks out. Or <laughs> it is it's it's like a show all the time. So you know, if you just if you just walk around with the camera just thinking visually, you, you can take tons of photographs.